Well, what's uh, changed in the last six months is the return of the U.S. consumer goods and uh, high fashion, basically products which um, during the 2009 and 2010 recession, we did not see many of those U.S. companies breaking back into our market. In the Shanghai area, we're effectively a region that within one mile of Shanghai is the 10th largest GDP in the entire world. It's a high income environment, comparatively speaking to the rest of the world. And effectively, if you're in the retail, consumer, nutritionals, healthcare sectors, all those areas that you would, uh, that appeal to a uh, consumer, more affluent consumer, you can in fact uh, do good business. There is no difficulty in China, first of all, when you do your market research of identifying where the money is going to go. As far as our opportunities, they're probably more than people realize. There's an assumption that China is a low-cost manufacturing environment that we're kind of cut out of the sectors. No, that's changing because although China historically has had some reservation about paying royalties and whatnot for services, their growth rate is such now that they can realize they can only sustain it when they, in fact, um, purchase engineering, high-quality engineering services, better design services, better planning services, all of which fit into the infrastructure, as well as certain technologies that come about in various sectors, such as in power generation. There's an apprehension in people's minds that moving into a a very uh, aggressive environment such as China means giving up the company. That's actually not true. People have to define what intellectual property they have and what they want to preserve, what they have to do in order to gain access to the world's second largest and fastest growing market. So what you have is a really an opportunity to sit down and reinvent your corporation. And that's the approach that people have to take. Some industries or Indigenous R&D is critical to develop a product which meets the local requirement. Sure, come on over and do it that way. Send the dividends back home. Others, R&D, will be done back in the States. So really, it isn't uh, a all or nothing equation. It's an opportunity to redefine your, your business model.